So, you say you're a good man? Well, technically only your opinion matters. And that's, in my opinion, kind of like saying your thing is big. Well, generally most men that say that. Yeah. Anywho, this is a big, huge thanks and appreciation for a good man, of which I feel only women can call you. Now, you know, guys, it's, I know it's hard for you to understand, maybe, especially if you hang out with your, your fellows a lot, you guys might forget, I'll say openly and honestly, that we ladies, when we are with ourselves for many years, tend to forget little things, like when a man empties the trash, let him. Or if you don't want to fool around this way or that way, say that. We don't have to do anything just to keep him because you're lonely or whatever. Hang on. So, my thank you is to Dawn. You read all my, you found, thank God, and read all my hundreds of profiles, five websites, 10 Yahoo groups, Yahoo profile, 360, uh, Black Planet. I mean, I'm on tons and tons and tons of crap on the internet. And thank you for being knowledgeable enough to look up most of that and see the types, well, the two types of people that are in me and going with the flow, you know? I know I talk a lot. That's just how I am because, like I said, I have been with myself and only myself, you know, not going out. Well, on my birthday I went out, but other than that, since last October, really, I'm trying to get my book done. And when I'm writing, the blinders are on, honey. The blinders are on and I don't see nothing but visions and ideas and stuff to write, 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 write down. You got the editing process, which I'm still going through, and I'm months behind in my book. <clears throat> so, you know, you guys need to try to remember, you know, when you date a lady that hasn't dated in a long time, it's hard for us, just like it's hard for you to do some things, I don't know, a man needs to make that video, to remember to let you do those things, let you put the gas in the car, let you open the doors, let you pay for some stuff. I'm, kind of old-fashioned, but I'm new-fashioned in the sense that I'll, you know, depending on where we go for the first date, I'll, I'll pay my, half my own way, you know? I'll pay my way. We'll go Dutch. And no matter what he says, even if you buy dinner, then, you know, as we're walking down whatever Main Street, you know, I'll buy dessert or something because I don't want anybody to think you're going to get something just because you bought dinner. I held out for a year now. I'm sure not going to give you your dessert <laughs> just because you bought dinner. No. I'm still rather old-fashioned in that regard, even though, you know, when I'm in a relationship, I am probably a big old freak. But whatever you think that might be, I don't know. But <clears throat> in my regards, there's no saying no. Once I am in a relationship, I would do nine out of the ten things. <laughs> I'll, I'll reserve myself that one thing. But anyway, this is a thank you to Don for, you know, listening to me ramble, 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 and interrupt you a whole lot. And I'm sorry about that. That's a bad habit I have when I finally meet somebody who I hope stays in my life for a long time, you know. And we all have little things like you told me yours and thank you for pointing mine out to me I mean to me that's a man you see how I am uh, the first you know three weeks at least I'm blunt bold aggressive probably overbearing um, but I have nobody else to protect my heart but me until I see you're willing to do that the wall is up to here at least <laughs> well caution I won't say a wall caution <coughs> So, um, thank you. That means the world to me. I tell you, I, I, lately I've been meeting some really nice guys. And it's so nice just to listen to you talk, even though I interrupted you a lot. 
And thank you for putting up with me, interrupting you a lot, and not saying anything until I asked you. Hold on. It's so fun to just, you know, talk to a person. And now that I'm older, sorry, whatever comes out is the truth. If you don't like that truth, then you cannot call me anymore. It's not going to make me or break me. But right now, it feels really good to actually talk to a real man that will let you just babble about everything. All right, you to win your construction company. Why do people keep coming back? So, I'll be back. So, to all you men that put up with us ladies going through this dating thing and are kind of rusty at it, just try. Just like you gotta try all over again, we gotta try all over again. And we just gotta try with each other, you know? Keep on keeping on, that's all there is. Trying, 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 being honest, being open, being friendly, you know, just ask, you know, guys don't ask, because men sometimes don't ask, but you know we girls, we want you to ask, just like you tell them, do you like this, do you like that, and even though you get sick of us asking, it's easier just to answer and try to make us happy, and then we'll make you happy, how you like, I hope we should. We should. Get I do. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. Because let's face it, I'm just, you know, okay. I've got my stuff to deal with. I'm just like, you've got your stuff to deal with in life. And we should try to deal with that stuff together. So, thank you, Don, for being a man and telling me sweetly things that bother you or things I might be able to improve on. I'll put it that way. Thank you for that. That's nice because most men just stop talking to you or they stop calling or they stop emailing. And I consider that rude and not a man. So, thank you. And I hope you are in my life for a long time because you're a really great guy. Have an awesome day, everyone. Love yourself. <laughs> Bye.